heading up into Cerro Rico de Vera with the neighbors for a coffee by the castle. Nice. Celaruco de Vera Castelo, Castle. That's Igreja Santa Maria, the church we've just been in. Very beautiful in itself. View of the Serra de Estrella National Park in the background. Phenomenal. Nuffer, isn't it? Bella loving this bit of tree bark this morning. So this is one of the vineyards and now our morning walks. This one's owned by George's dad. And this is a fig tree right here. He's got a couple of them along the side of the plot here. Hope to have them on our land eventually. Learned a lot about farm life and plant life out here from George and the family. Which is going to be handy in the future. Bella's loving life. <laughs> this is another part of the family's farm that we've been spending time with. They've got some 15 acres, which is a pretty huge amount of land. And this bit is planted with sweet corn. Or meal, meal or correct us if I'm wrong, any Portuguese watches. But we seen George's dad on the tractor here yesterday when we were off for a walk, getting that all prepped and planted up. Passing by the local river, usually on a morning. In the summer, there's a park and a calf restaurant over here which is open in about two weeks' time. You can get a fishing license to fish for some trout right here which is very reasonably priced at around 13 euros I'm trying to get Bella to go for a swim but she just won't go out of her depth yet we'll give it time maybe when the water gets a bit warmer the village in which we currently reside on the outskirts of the Serra de Estrella National Park very tranquil and Bella's been out this morning, but I think she must be allergic to pollen. Sit, sit down. Oh, Let's have a look at your face. Honey. Oh, you've got a fat face. Oh, so What's this? Oh no. No. Right eyes closing up a little bit, but she's just had an antihistamine. You gonna be all right? Hmm. Oh. 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 It's my toy. Give us it. Give us it. Give us it. <laughs> Some 
homemade quiche made with the neighbours fresh chicken eggs the oranges yolks you've ever seen just cooking up some of the freshest portuguese fava beans from our lovely neighbours full bag of them delicious raw or cooked they suggested just a little bit of salt Currently not sitting at the dinner table to eat. Just Jen's scrapbook. Never gets tired away. How's them fava beans? So good. Gorgeous. Oh, 10? 10. Definitely. Fresh is best. What are your mum doing? Stop calling me that. <laughs> Stop calling me that. What's mum doing? I just knew the camera was on there. Such a show off. Jen doesn't like us calling her mum. <laughs> because it's a mum to her. But I'm a proper commoner. <laughs> <laughs> Salad from the neighbours. Delicious. This is a walk through the nearby pine forest. We were told when we were out on a walk with the Vega family in the autumn get a lot of pine mushrooms and ate forage so looking forward to that try some more of the local culinary delights just finished, had our tea this is 5 o'clock walk, sun's still beaming and I'll keep going on about the food we're getting delivered off the neighbours but it's a bit overwhelming how kind the family's been to us and also eating so fresh it's getting us quite excited giving us a taste of the fresh food that we're going to be producing hopefully when we get our farm so uh, oh, it's oh there's Bella <laughs> away fetch it go on what is it good girl <laughs> go on get it Bella at absolutely loving life on the forest walks she's settling in well with the two of us i think she, she just loves our life <laughs> she loves our new life together i think she just needed a bit of love she was left by a family in north spain and was taken in by a polish fellow who we got him from got her from and she's very needy but we love that giving her all the attention she gets so much love for us In the pine forest here. Little woodpecker setting to work on this pine tree. Greatest spotted woodpecker, did you see it when it came out? What was that? The nature for you there guys, greatest spotted woodpecker. And it's okay. home up there. It was so pretty, wasn't it? Nice little spot, this. Jen's favourite part of the walk. In the shade, heading along with the river. Sound of the birds. Looking well there, babe. Go on. Good girl. Go on, good girl. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Good girl. Expect. 
What does she expect? It's manure. Big smile on my face. Because Bella had a swim. The first swim. <laughs> Been trying to train her to get into the water, and <laughs> the picture of her face when she realised what <laughs> she could do was an absolute picture to be seen. So, I want to give her a nice big hearty meal to say congrats. So that's the dog fed, just about to do my bit for the community. Help George paint the chapel door. This is it, the little village chapel. Doors all sanded down. Let me get this painted. Ants, that's before. For you non Portuguese linguists, not that I'm any professional. with the bomb very nice the old communal washing baths at the Havana's park beside they won't get used anymore but see the part where they scrub the clothes that was fed by the local river and this is where the spring is, where we fill our water up. So we just woke up this morning, taking the dog for a walk before we head into a nearby village called Tranduco, something like that. Tranduco. And they, on a Friday, they have a big market. So we'll see what we can get there. See if we can get a cover for the door for the flies coming in. Yeah, maybe don't, a dog bed. Don't know what it is about flies, but. It's as if they wait for you to open the bedroom door and then they just go <laughs> straight in, which is really annoying. So, be interesting to see what food they have as well because we'd like to try some more of the local cuisine. So, got some traditional sausages. Well, they're not called sausages, I can't remember the Portuguese name for them yesterday from the Vegas and a big bag of batatas. Still getting all the local fresh produce, which is great. <laughs> Better enjoying a favourite spot in the forest again. Go and see if our little friend Woody, the woodpecker, is in his house. We've got to be quiet. Woody's little house. No sign of him though. This friend who we see in the morning. What do you 
think, and mine and George's handiwork. Looks good. <laughs> Sun isn't on it yet, but. Do you want an underpants dream catcher? Hmm? How are them strawberries? <laughs> Portuguese strawberries are the ones. Get it? Coffee's in Trancoso in the square. We didn't have a clue what they said because we don't know numbers yet. <laughs> Neither did I at the market and I was buying them bananas and strawberries, but Bunny. the people see very truthful. Observation. Well, these tiles are everywhere and we just love them. Hopefully gonna get one of our own place. Lovely detail on them. This is Travesa de Castolo, I'm guessing that is. Traverse to the castle, up this street here. Off to the castle, Trancoso. She waiting for me, do you think? Trancoso castle. These villages round where we stay in are steeped in history. Bonita. Bosch. Castles here. Pretty phenomenal. Yes, that we just come through. Not a bad view. At the Trancoso Castello Castle here. Beautiful. The Unreal. views from the top are stunning. Just had Bella up these steps here and she wasn't best pleased out on the platform but her <laughs> little legs were shaking uh, so much. Just been to the Junta um, to try and get a appointment for our residence permit which has been a bit of a struggle. Went to the SEF in Garda the other day and that was a no fly. Didn't speak uh, any English. No so it was English. A little bit difficult communicating with them. George has been trying to get us an appointment at the local junta, which is what you've got to do. And even them speaking Portuguese said that the whole process is a little bit long drawn out and stupido. Um, so that's been a struggle. But we have managed to translate and speak a bit of Portuguese with the non English speaking office clerk there and she gave me a note and sort of gathered that we had an appointment at the municipal camara in Celerico de Vera which is the local council to us but I didn't know which day so we've just been in the tourist information she translated that we've got an appointment for that next Thursday so fingers crossed fingers crossed get right. that sorted and then we've got to get signed up for medical uh, and the next video we're going to be talking a little bit about the whole D7 process. I know there's a lot of videos on YouTube, but things are changing all the time and it's been a lot different for us than it has for other people, so... You can hear how we're getting on. Yeah, that's it for now. So, just been to Novo Banco, the bank that we signed up with for our D7 residency, as it was the quickest one at the time and they didn't send us a ATM card so we've now got an ATM card Ooh. which we can use to buy lots of coffee and <laughs> pastel de nata so our favourite <laughs> absolutely beautiful some huge ancient trees in this park bush look a good tree
strawberry taste test on the left little on the right market do it These ones are loads sweeter. Mm. These ones are slightly firmer, but I prefer these ones. Mm, that's the market ones. Mm. But both good. Both, both are good. Portuguese. Look at that. So we're just back from the market. Got ourselves a few little bits and bobs to plant in the small garden. A couple of tomato plants, some shallot onions, so alfas or lettuce, different kind of mixed salad, different colours. We already got some off the Vegas, but like a bit of a mixture and a watermelon. So that's going to need a bit of space. Hopefully we'll get a few bits off that. Let's get them planted. First, I'm going to dig in this manure I got the other day. So we've got the letters here, which our neighbours have given us, which have definitely taken. These ones down here, definitely getting bigger since they got put in. And got these plugs we're just getting here, which I'm going to dip in right now. Oh, I already planted the old onion top here. Just gonna put these onions in here, see how they get on. That's the old one, what I cut. It actually looks like it's doing all right. Watermelon needs a decent bit of space, about a metre squared. So I think in here, in between the persimmon and these. Cacti. Perfecto. Tomatoes. We have onions, salad leaves along the back, watermelon, a couple of tomatoes, potatoes in the end, strawberries, Got algumas, beans along the front, bush beans. Actually still got about a metre of space here to utilise. It's amazing what you can get in such a small little area. Salad should keep us going. Been eating a lot of it in the hot weather and the beet. The supermarket stuff, hands down. So moringa and elephant garlic, 24 hours soaking in water, the moringa seeds now sunk and fully saturated, just need to remove this outer shell and then it's ready to germinate, hopefully grow ourselves a moringa tree. So that's the moringa seed without the outside bit, that is the elephant garlic, half and half, open the calm up. It's a little bit like an onion, that and all that needs planting in soil until it shoots. Hopefully we'll get some nice big girthy garlic off that. Do 
So I just wanted to drop in with a little plug for the end of the video here, guys. It's turned out to be a long one. We've crammed a lot into the two weeks we've been busy. here. Busy couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. It's been good. Absolutely beautiful area. Steeped in history. The people have been... Unreal. Yeah, they have. So welcoming. Food every day. We cooked them a quiche the other day, to be fair. Which, you know, it's a little... It was nice. <laughs> But nothing compares to how kind they've been. They've been helping us get our stuff sorted for the, the visa, etc. Which anybody who is watching this is probably going to be interested in coming to Portugal themselves and they'll know of the bureaucracy. So that's been really helpful. And yeah, feeling very blessed with the dog turning up. She's been a blessing. It's like fate. She came <laughs> into our lives. Eating fresh and these videos are going to be a little bit more informal just what we're getting on with the journey leading up to hopefully getting our farm so thanks, space. thanks for watching <laughs> take care see you next time cheers